please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of the latest videos. Sage here for Kalkai Media. Today's trending topic covers how did the ASX 200 listed REA Group deliver stellar financial year 2021 results? REA Group Limited is a multinational digital advertising business with expertise in real estate. Driven by its goal to alter the way the world experiences property, REA has delivered exceptional results for 2021's financial year with a full year dividend of 131 cents per share, an increase of 19% on financial year 20. Another defining year has made REA's flagship site realestate.com. .au, the eighth largest online brand overall in Australia. REA owns several subsidiaries under its umbrella. REA Group lifts dividends in financial year 2021. With reported net profit of 313 million Australian dollars, the Australia-based company has decided to pay a significant portion of the earnings. That is a final dividend of 72 cents per share fully franked. The dividend is scheduled for payment on 16th September. 2021. Earlier this year in February, REA had also announced to pay interim dividend to its shareholders. Thus, the company has offered a total dividend of 131 cents per share in the financial year. 2021 ended 30th June 2021, up 19% in the year-over-year period. Other blue chip companies that have recently announced dividends are Rio, RIO and RMD. Rio Tinto, the world's second largest metals and mining company, has announced a total dividend of 9.1 billion Australian dollars for the first half. While ResMed Inc, or RMD, a leading medical device manufacturer with market capitalization of 54.28 billion Australian dollars has declared a quarterly dividend of 42 cents per share Australian for the June quarter. Now, other financial highlights from the core operations of REA for financial year 2021 are as follows. The year-over-year -year revenue increased by 13% to $928 million Australian dollars owing to strong residential market recovery in Australia and the EBITDA, including associates, increased by 19% up to $565 million Australian dollars. Net profit grew 18% up to $318 million Australian dollars. And the core operating cost growth, excluding acquisitions, was contained to 3% year-over-year due to effective cost management across the year. REA's flagship site realestate.com.au acquired excellent results and emerged as the clear market leader in digital real estate. Financial services operating revenue increased 9% due to higher settlements, increased broker recruitment and improved productivity. The company has a strong balance sheet with debt of only 414 million Australian dollars and a cash balance of 169 million Australian dollars current at 30th June 2021. In June of 2021, the group refinanced the syndicated debt facilities and funded the mortgage choice acquisition through a bridge facility with NAB for 520 million Australian dollars. REA targets continued growth in financial year 2022, and the leading global digital business strives for positive full year operating jaws in financial year 2022 and aims greater investments to go forward with the company's strategic initiatives. In financial year 2022, REA will witness the consolidation of Mortgage Choice and Alara for the full year, as well as the divestment of the Malaysia and Thailand operations from 3rd August 2021. Also, the equity accounted investments portfolio will reflect the results of recent acquisitions and sale of 99 Group from August 2021. Stock information. REA stock was trading at $156.42 Australian a share, current at 11.32 a.m. on the 9th of August 2021, with a market capitalisation of $21.06 billion Australian dollars. Hopefully that's been informative for you. If you do like the information, please like, share, comment on the video below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, just press the bell icon, you'll be notified of the latest videos. For more information and regular updates, head to the website, calkinemedia.com. Sage here for Kalkai Media.